Okay, tonight I'm going to try to start my first freezer cooking um, extravaganza. It should be interesting. Um, I just got back from the grocery store. This is $217 worth of groceries, but that includes like our produce and, you know, like um, I've got like $10 to $15 worth of cleaning products. So it's not just that, you know, like dinners, like my freezer meals. I've also got some breakfast stuff for us. So anyway, I'm going to start putting things together and I'll show y'all what it looks like. Okay, I went ahead and put tomorrow night's dinner into the pot. What I'll do is I'll stick it in the crock pot first thing in the morning. And it's, you can't see them, but at the bottom there are carrots, there's potatoes, um, there's a, ch a three and a half pound chuck roast in there and some corn on the cob. And I've never put corn on the cob in my slow cooker, so I don't know how it's going to work. I hope it turns out okay and it's not a disaster. Um, these were frozen, so um, I think in the morning, once they're thawed out a little bit, because I'll just put the whole pot in the fridge until the morning, is I'll probably cut those up into pieces where maybe they fit a little bit better. Uh, but we'll see. There's a seasoning pack in there and some beef broth. So it might be stew, roast, creation, but that's tomorrow night's dinner. Here is another dinner. It is about a pound and a half of steak, just like the sale meat at Albertsons. And I cut it up into chunks, put in a can of tomato sauce, a can of rotel, a can of stewed tomatoes, and I cut up some, uh, some green pepper. And it's also got some Italian seasoning and some Worcestershire sauce. This is just something I threw together. Um, I'll cook it in the crock pot on low all day, one day, and... Um, uh, I'll like make some noodles or rice the day of and we'll eat with this so that is another meal that's going to go in the freezer so it's not necessarily that I'm freezer cooking I'm freezer preparing everything will get prepared and go in the freezer so that in mornings I can just dump it in the crock pot all right this one is going to be beef stroganoff and it is more um cell meat steak because it's like you can get a pound and a half and it's buy one get one free and it ends up being like 10 bucks but um it's it ends up being really good meat in the slow cooker and um so it's it's the steak it's a can uh it's two cans of cream of mushroom soup and also uh a bag of the dry um onion soup mix and I'm not sure this is the first time I've ever frozen this so I don't know yet if I should freeze it like keep it frozen when I put it in the crock pot or like set it in the fridge the night before to thaw out a little bit but we'll see how it goes again with this one I'll probably do like rice or noodles or something and keep in mind a lot of these meals most of them we're gonna have leftovers um, not all of them but some of them will have leftovers for Micah and I to uh, take for lunch the next day so this makes a lot of meals Okay, there's nothing special about this. It's just some chicken breast that I'm just putting in the bag. And this was also sale meat. Um, so it was like eight bucks and it was buy one, get one free. And um, yeah, I will just dump this into the crock pot and pour a bottle of barbecue sauce on it. So I'm not gonna put the barbecue sauce in the bag because it's just as easy to throw it in that morning. Uh, so a bottle of barbecue sauce and some chicken, by the time we get home, it'll pull apart and we'll make pulled chicken out of it and put it on a bun or whatever bread that we have in the house. So there is another meal. Okay, this is one, this is one I've learned a huge lesson with. Um, I ended up having to put it in the crock pot, in our other crock pot, because I tried to put all of these ribs, my ribs on a bone, in a bag and in a freezer bag and it poked holes in it so it was leaking everywhere. So um, I put it in the crock pot, which means we'll have to put it on. Um, I'm going to save it for two days. Like we'll have the roast tomorrow and then we'll have this after that, like the next day. And this is going to make a lot. Um, so I will probably put it, um, like freeze whatever we don't eat. And this just had a can of tomato sauce. Um, it had some soy sauce, paprika, uh, a little bit of chili powder, and some parsley seasoning. And I think that was it. And a little bit of dis and a little bit of cider vinegar. And um, that was it in this. And it'll be an all-day cooker. Okay, this crock pot meal has um, about eight uh, boneless, skinless chicken breast, a can of cream of mushroom, a can of cream of chicken, and um, two cans of mixed vegetables, which. 
those were just like on my backup reserve in the in the pantry usually I like to use the frozen ones so oh and it also has about a fourth of a cup of white cooking wine so this will cook all day as well in about six to eight hours okay this bag has chicken breast and um, two jars of uh, spaghetti sauce just whatever sauce that you like and we use two because we like our sauce really liquidy and what I'll do with this is I'll shred up the chicken and mix it in and I'll add some Parmesan and um, put it over noodles it'll be a, a chicken spaghetti but like regular spaghetti but with chicken instead of a meat sauce it'll be a chicken sauce okay this one's gonna be like a rice broccoli with uh, cheese. Um, right now what's in there is um, chicken breast, frozen broccoli, uh, uh, like the Campbell's uh, cheesy soup, and a cream of chicken soup. And um, then whatever seasoning you like. I just threw in like some garlic powder and some sage. And so I'll cook that and uh, we'll probably just eat it over rice. Um, so this is one that I just threw together. It, there was no recipe that went with it. Ugh, that looks gross. But <laughs> sorry, I got distracted. Um, this is one I just threw together. So we'll we'll see what it turns into if it's any good. And before I forget, um, I know a lot of y'all are probably thinking, "Oh my gosh, that's so much sodium." She's using all these uh, soup mixes, which yes, I mean it can get to be a lot. Um, I try to watch that and get the low sodium soups. Um, the the ones that are like 98% fat free, you know, I, I try to, you know, shave off what I can with those, but um, I'm trying this out for the first time to see how it works for us as far as saving time. Um, I like to cook in the crock pot um, every day, but every night I'm preparing a meal and I'm hoping that this can shave some more time off of that. Okay, this one is more chicken breast, a bottle of uh, light Italian dressing, and um, the rest of the broccoli that came from that other bag. I thought about putting green beans in here, but I'm not sure. I think I've got some squash. I'm gonna put some squash in here. I don't know if it's gonna be any good, but I'm gonna try it. And here it is with the squash in it. So I just cut it up into slices. I've never put squash in the crock pot. So again, we'll see how these turn out. These might all end up disgusting. We'll see what happens. Okay, so if I counted right, I just did eight um, crock pot meals uh, bagged up or in a pot ready to cook. Yes, put that back in the pantry. McKenna's helping me like clean up and put the rest of the stuff up. And I realized, you know, I said that I had spent $217 on groceries, which I did, but like I said, a lot is, um, well, some of it was cleaning supplies, but there was also like fresh fruit in there. And I also stocked up the pantry on, um, you know, just certain dry goods. Uh, like we go through a lot of rice and pasta. The kids needed oatmeal. Um, we also needed milk, um, some breakfast thing, things like bacon and eggs. So um, it wasn't just for the crock pot stuff, but um, a lot of it was like all the meat pretty much. All the meat is in with a crock pot meal and I'm excited. I will probably do another video to let y'all know how it goes. Bye.